first semester. Now, uh, in this first semester uh, of uh, TYDC, we are going to see the subject CS 3 Let's see first uh, the syllabus of uh, this uh, subject. So, this uh, CH333 organic chemistry subject contains total six topics. See the first topic. First topic is strength of organic acids and bases. Acids and bases. Second topic is stereochemistry of stereochemistry of dye substituted cyclohexanes. Cyclohexanes. Third topic that we have to study in this uh, subject is the nucleophilic substitution at aliphatic carbon. Substitution at aliphatic carbon. Fourth topic that we have to study and uh, we have to start right now. The topic is reactions of unsaturated reactions of unsaturated hydrocarbons hydrocarbons and carbon oxygen double bond this is our fourth topic that we are to commence after this the fifth topic that we have to study is the elimination reaction elimination reaction and sixth topic and the last topic of this subject is aromatic nucleophilic and electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction so these are six topic of uh, this uh, subject cs333 organic chemistry First is strength of organic acids and bases. Second is stereochemistry of dye substituted cyclohexanes. Uh, third is a nucleophilic substitution at aliphatic carbon. Fourth is reactions of unsaturated hydrocarbons and carbon oxygen double bond. Fifth is elimination reaction and last topic is the aromatic nucleophilic and electrophilic substitution reaction. So out of these topics, we have to commence the fourth topic. That is nucleophilic sorry reactions of unsaturated hydrocarbons and carbon oxygen double bond so let's start with the what is unsaturated hydrocarbons we know that we are starting we are learning it from uh, 11 11 that is what is uh, saturated carbon aliphatic carbon aromatic uh, carbons aromatic systems aliphatic systems saturated unsaturated system so unsaturated simply in a way we we can write carbon carbon double bond is what it is unsaturated system means it containing either double bond or triple bond so these are unsaturated hydrocarbons and another carbon oxygen double bond this is also unsaturated system so these systems we have to study the reactions of all these systems okay unsaturated hydrocarbons mostly Unsaturated hydrocarbons undergoes unsaturated hydrocarbons undergoes addition reactions. Okay, because they are unsaturated already C triple bond C. So unsaturated hydrocarbons. So these compounds, these unsaturated systems are undergoes addition reactions. Okay, so we have to define addition reaction. What is addition reaction? When two molecules combine to form a single molecule or two molecules combined to yield single product then we can say that it is an addition reaction suppose that any carbon carbon double bonded system is reacting with a reagent suppose consider this one cell this is a reagent this means these two molecules combine to form a single product this uh, double bonded and unsaturated system so this unsaturated system adds up this reagent so we get such type of product here y addition of y and here the addition of another 
have a component of the reagent that is this is unsaturated system system we call it substrate and this is another component of the reaction and that we call reagent we are adding this reagent so when substrate added into the reagent or reagent added in the substrate we get single product and this is the addition product this is called as addition reaction simply it is addition means if we add milk into the water or water into the milk then two component mix to get the homogeneous or one component then we say it is an addition so this is addition so this is also type of uh, that reaction that is addition reaction two molecules combine to form a single molecule or single product we call it addition reaction okay now in this addition reaction we have to further see we have uh, we saw two components in the addition reaction that is substrate and another reagent okay so these two component form the addition product so which substrate are undergoing undergoes uh, this addition reaction so we say unsaturated system so carbon carbon double bond is a unsaturated system which undergoes addition reaction carbon carbon triple bond is also unsaturated system it undergoes addition reaction c triple bond ion is unsaturated system it undergoes addition reaction c double bond ion it is unsaturated system which undergoes addition reaction c double bond o is unsaturated system which undergoes addition reaction n double bond ion is also unsaturated system which undergoes addition reaction n double bond o is unsaturated system which undergoes addition reaction so these are the compounds which having unsaturation in them so these compounds are undergoes addition reaction so which reagents are there reagents are of different types such as reagents may be may be nucleophilic means it is electron rich may be neutral may be electrophilic means which seeking electrons electrophilic so reagents may be nucleophilic neutral electrophilic and there is also there are there are some examples such as h2 as a neutral reagent h2o as a neutral reagent hx is a nuclear electrophilic reagent so different types of reagents hx x uh, x2 addition of halogens so these are different reagent we added into the substrate and depending on on the reagent which reagent is that nucleophilic or either a neutral or either electrophilic we can divide these addition reaction into three parts okay so how these reactions are divided these reactions are divided into three parts or we say classification of addition reaction so these are classified as addition reaction are classified as nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction addition reactions second if reagent is electrophilic then if reagent is electrophilic then we say electrophilic addition reactions electrophilic addition reactions and if another type of mechanism is there where free radical mechanism is there and we call it free radical addition reaction free radical addition reaction addition reaction so addition reaction is divided into three parts depending on type of reagent that is nucleophilic addition reaction electrophilic addition reaction and free radical addition reactions okay we are uh, now we are studying the topic that is reactions of unsaturated hydrocarbons carbon oxygen double bond now in this we are studying first the carbon unsaturated hydrocarbons okay so unsaturated hydrocarbons undergoes addition reaction addition reaction contain two parts that is substrate and reagent okay and depending on the nature of the reagent 
whether it, uh, whether it is uh, nucleophilic, then we say nucleophilic addition reaction. If it is electrophilic, then we say electrophilic addition reaction. And if another mechanism free radical that is not in our syllabus right now, but uh, we will see it later. So, that free radical addition reaction. So, these are three types or classified uh, addition reactions are classified in this way. Now, we have to see some examples of addition reaction. What are actually addition reactions? How reagents are added? Uh, what type of products they obtain? And then we have to see one by one. So we have to see some examples here. Okay. So examples of addition reaction. Examples of addition reaction. See first example. Addition uh, reaction. That is addition of halogens. Addition of halogens. So, addition of halogens. That is, we know that halogens Cl2, Br2, F2, I2. So, these are halogens and uh, the addition of these halogens to unsaturated system. So, uh, we are taking an example of one unsaturated system, simple unsaturated system we have taken here. So, that unsaturated molecule, simple unsaturated molecule, we call it, call it propylene. Okay, so propylene is a simple unsaturated system we have taken for example here. And we are adding halogen here. And this reaction mostly takes place in presence of cysteine 4 so unsaturation is removed by adding this reagent so CH here we are and addition of another reagent so this product of okay, we say 1 2 di bromo propane 1 2 di bromo propane so this is uh, first example of addition reaction that is addition of halogens. See here, first uh, we have taken the simple unsaturated system that is propylene and uh, addition of Br2 here in presence of CCL2, uh, CCL4. We get here the product and this product is called as addition product. See the second example that is addition of haloacids. Addition of haloacids. Which are haloacids which containing hydrogen and halogen, for example, HCl, HBr, HI. So these are haloacids. So addition of these haloacids. So consider this simple system, unsaturated system, and we added here this haloacid, that is the SCL. And when this HCl added this, then there is addition of this reagent. It contains two parts. So this addition of this reagent took place here, and we get the product CH3, CH, HCl, and here CH3. So hydrogen added here, Cl added to this secondary carbon. Now there may be possibility of this Cl may added to this carbon and carbon but uh, we have taken this product with stability of the product okay stability of product so what uh, is stability of product how or uh, on which factor it depends that we will see later okay that is the part of the mechanism how uh, this CL gets added here or uh, why not it is added to the end carbon or when uh, there is possibility of adding this CL to the and carbon that we will see later. See the second example. See the third example. Addition of water. Okay. So addition of water. So addition of water. Suppose take an example that is simple propylene. This propylene when added, we add some water to this propylene, but uh, this reaction do not occur by simply adding water only. It requires it requires strong acid to be added as a catalyst in this reaction then, then this reaction occurs so this reaction 
addition of water. We say this reaction, and we know by another name that is hydration, addition of water. So this unsaturated system, the unsaturated system, uh, water gets added here, and we get see here. And this reagent contains two part OH, DH. So CH. Saturated system. So this four things. 